in the diversification of life we will be discussing about diversity of life so diversity of life has been going on in the earth's history as onward and upward onward that mean it is in uh, progressing with the time it is increasing and upward not only in the number but also the biodiversity has complex set of organisms in it so there are increased number of species there are increase uh, the complexity in the species as well so an accepted principle of evolution we know that the uh, the evolution has happened as a result of natural selection and it has told us that all modern and ancient life on earth is part of a single great phylogenetic tree single great phylogenetic tree that means there was a single precambrian common ancestor so if there is one tree that means there is one common ancestor and our studies of evolution till today they tell us or all the scientists agree on that there was a single origin of life and from then the diversity of the species has increased so a plot of species number through the time must show a pattern of phenomenal increase over the past 3500 million years so if we see the 3500 million years of the past there must be an increase in the number of species if we plot the number of species uh, in uh, opposite to the time so it is possible that many species were never fossilized but it is sort of a very uh, erroneous way to do things because we don't know that which species were present in the past because many species were never fossilized there were some soft bodied organism as we have discussed earlier in the previous topics and there are some uh, fossils even though they are here in the crust of earth but they are yet to be found and identified so valentine in 1969 was the first scientist who had the first Uh, serious who did the first serious effort and he plotted the number of families of skeletonized shallow marine invertebrates through the phanerozoic so he got one era he got one type of skeletons and he uh, uh, he counted the number of species and plotted those species uh, in opposite with the time the pattern showed the a jerky increase with the several decline so it was not a linear decline but it was jerky jerky mean it goes up then comes down goes up and come down so and it was rep- uh, he is uh, he said or he argued that it is representative of all the diversification that we see today so he said that as we go uh, the jerky increase is uh, applicable to all the species uh, diversity on the surface of earth and then there was another scientist who argued the uh, name as rope in 1972 he argued that the graph showed more about the sources of error in the fossil record than it did about the true pattern of diversification of life so he told that what valentin did is not actually true because it tells us that where we ha- can find the fossil record and where we cannot so jerky increase not a correct way because the fossil evidence is not very much reliable because it uh, the many fossils are never preserved or may never be found so the low diversity values in the early paleozoic were less in those uh, uh, graphs because such rocks were rare so what uh, valentin did it was sort of an empirical way and the rope argued opposite so the true pattern of diversification of marine invertebrate had been a rapid rise to modern diversity levels during the cambrian and ordovician and a steady equilibrium since then so he said that such a diversity increase has been happening during the cambrian and ordovician in the uh, uh, marine invertebrates and he's uh, he also uh, produced many other plots which showed the similar patterns if we uh, plot some other uh, um, organism vertebrates or any other organism they show the similar patterns as well and here you can see the two models which were given by the two scientists valentin 1969 and raup 1972 the left hand side the empirical model is from the valentin and you can see the jerky increase 
and then you can see the rope that it was first increase and then there makes a plateau so there are the three mathematical models which shows us that what are the global diversification pattern there is a linear model which is a straight line and then there is exponential model as the name indicates it increases exponentially and then there is logistical model which is uh, showing us a logistic sigmoid curve so linear model represent additive increase that means it increases as we go up and the addition of fixed number of new species in such unit of time and such a model has generally been rejected as improbable so linear model was not very reliable because as the diversity increased it also predicts that the number of extinctions will also increase which is uh, usually not the case the extinctions do not increase as much as the diversity increases the second model was exponential model it is more consisting with a branching mode of evolution if speciation and uh, extinction rates common remain uh, roughly constant then uh, there will be regular doubling of diversity within fixed unit of time the exponential model is also controversial but it is being discussed that the species number double of a certain period of unit of time so that means there must be an increase a very much increased exponential model but it is opposite to the linear model again it is not uh, taking care of many other factors the last but not the least is the logistic model it involves one or more classic s, -S shaped curves each consisting of uh, initial period of slow diversity increase a rapid rise and slowing rate increases as the result of diversity dependent damping factors so what are those dam damping factors just like a chemical reaction stops due to some limiting factors there are some uh, damping factors which decrease the species diversity and that logistic model uh, which is dependent upon many environmental factors the species diversity is dependent on many environmental factor the species diversity will be decreasing or come to uh, a plateau after some time so in the late phases of uh, uh, that species diversity and we can see all these three models in this theoretical model the theoretical model for the diversification of life plotted as if for the last 600 million years in the absence of major perturbation so you can see the additive is a linear line exponential is increasing uh, much more uh, exponentially and then there is the logistic which is uh, a sort of a sigmoid curve s shaped curve is for the which is dotted line in, in this graph so uh, on the y axis we have the diversity on x axis we have the uh, 600 million years as the time so this uh, graph shows the uh, diversification plot of the patterns if we have some perturbation just like great mass extinction the plot shape will be much more different and much more uh, disturbed as it looks now 